On the eve of WWE Extreme Rules, we give to you the return of Saturday night's main event. Live here from Portland, on the road to Seattle 24 hours from now, for our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, Extreme Rules. And coming up here tonight in Portland, Oregon, in your main event, it's a long time rivalry renewed when two of the five men that will compete for the WWE Championship match tomorrow night compete one on one. John Cena, Edge, the rated R superstar versus the franchise tonight here on Saturday night's main event. It's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 42 and we are kicking things off with a little bit of a grudge singles matchup here. Damian Priest with his new tag team partner Dominic Dijakovic in his corner set to battle a member of the Hurt Business after those two teams had a grudge against each other a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring accompanied by Dominic Dijakovic from New York, New York weighing in at 249 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up on the next episode of Monday Night Raw Universe Mode, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic have earned themselves a WWE World Tag Team Championship opportunity. They will face the winners of the Viking Raiders versus the Mysterios that takes place tomorrow night at Extreme Rules where those two teams meet in a tables matchup for the WWE Tag Team Championships. And there will be no rest for the weary. No matter the champions coming out of Extreme Rules, they head right into Monday Night Raw to challenge these two men who earned themselves a tag team championship opportunity when they defeated the Hurt Business two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. But tonight the Hurt Business is looking to settle the score and looking to derail the momentum of Priest and Dijakovic. And his opponent, accompanied by Cedric Alexander, representing the Hurt Business from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin! So it will be Shelton Benjamin representing the Hurt Business here tonight to take on Damian Priest. And it goes without saying, but Shelton Benjamin, no stranger to singles action. This is a former multiple-time Intercontinental Champion, a former United States Champion, and of course, former multiple-time Tag Team Champion here in the WWE. Shelton Benjamin's a veteran of the game, a veteran of the ring. It's been a little bit since we've seen him in singles action here, but he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with Damian Priest here tonight, and I'm sure he's looking to do one good for his boys in the Hurt Business. But what a night it's going to be. Saturday night's main event making its right return right here, right now, on this live premiere just 24 hours before our next WWE 2K22 Universe Mode pay-per-view Extreme Rules. And what a night that is going to be. Just coming up 24 hours from now, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel tomorrow night, August the 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Eight matches signed. All the championships will be on the line. Rob Van Dam makes his return to the WWE. It is a stacked night coming up in Seattle. But tonight we're here in Portland. It's the return of Saturday night's main event. A live premiere special building up on the road to Extreme Rules, and we're kicking things off with Damian Priest and Shelton Benjamin right here, right now, as Priest, what a shot! Maybe a knockout blow to the gold standard. And of course, as we mentioned, this singles matchup, a bit of a grudge match coming out of Monday Night Raw a couple of weeks ago. After a backstage altercation, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic joining forces to take down Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. And what was a hell of a tag team matchup, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic surprising us all, not only just because they picked up the win on that night, but how well they worked together as a tag team. Both men, very similar in styles. They got the size, they have the strength, but they also, also both have the agility inside of that ring. They may look like polar opposites, but definitely two men who have a lot in common. And I think they have teamed so well just in that first matchup. And not only because of the respect between each other and the styles between each other, but those two men have been in the ring with each other before. An absolute classic on Monday Night Raw a couple of months ago. It was a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Damian Priest won on that night, but those two men with history with each other. And I think that history carried into the respect that formed that tag team there. 
And now that tag team, after beating the Hurt Business a couple of weeks ago, already has a chance to put gold around their shoulders. And again, that's going to be coming up in the next episode of Monday Night Raw. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, regardless of the result here and regardless of who walks out of Extreme Rules with the Tag Team Championships of the WWE. Maybe Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest taking on either the current champions, Dominic and Rey Mysterio, or the challengers and possibly becoming new champions tomorrow night. Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders! And Damian Priest showcasing some of that agility there. Crossbody out of the ring, taking out Shelton Benjamin. And the gold standard, worse for wear right now, on the opposite side of a ring that he wants to be in. But Damian Priest showcasing that agility there that we talked about. Now Benjamin's down, looks like Damian Priest is looking to maybe go to the air again. Oh, look at this, look at this, springboard from the big man into the crossbody. It only keeps him down for a one count, but still, Big time effective maneuver from Damian Priest right there. Certainly throwing Shelton Benjamin off this game. Wait a minute, you gotta watch. Cedric Alexander at ringside trying to take the, take the eyes from Damian Priest off this contest and off Shelton Benjamin here and it works to the Hurt Business's advantage. Priest is gonna have to keep an eye on Benjamin, but of course he's got Dominic Dijakovic in his corner to watch his back here tonight. I'm sure Dominic Dijakovic's gonna be keeping things on the more fair side, but just in case things get out of line, both men got their tag team partners at ringside to back him up. Nice swinging neck breaker there from Shelton Benjamin looking to put Priest away, but he gets the shoulder up. And of course, this is the return, the Saturday Night's Main Event live premiere special right here. Coming up before Extreme Rules tomorrow and our main event tonight, a little bit of a prelude to Extreme Rules. A long time rivalry gonna be renewed. And the franchise, John Cena, takes on the rated R superstar, Edge, your current WWE champion. There's going to be two of five men that are going to compete tomorrow night for the WWE Championship in Seattle. Of course, it'll be a five-man elimination challenge. Four men going to have to be defeated before we leave Seattle, Washington, with the WWE Champion being crowned. And wait a minute, Cedric Alexander once again taking Damian Priest's eye off the ball. He slid that chair in the ring as well. Referee's got to get that out of there. That's going to be a hazard to these two men. But as we were mentioning, five men going to compete for the WWE Championship tomorrow night. Edge going to defend against his opponent this evening, John Cena, as well as the former champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And what about the self-proclaimed future of the WWE, Austin Theory? And what about the man who has been on just the biggest role of his career as of late, Mustafa Ali, who picked up a win over John Cena this past Monday night on Raw. Five big time combustible elements. All five men with a great chance to become WWE Champion. Cannot wait for Extreme Rules tomorrow night. And that is just one of eight matches that is signed for that big time pay-per-view event. And Damian Priest now taking back the momentum. Just stomp it away on Shelton Benjamin in the corner. Benjamin's gotta be hurt. And you noticed a moment ago as we were discussing Extreme Rules, because of that chair that Cedric Alexander slid in the ring, the ref was trying to get it out. Had his eye taken off the ball, and Damian Priest tackled Benjamin and unintentionally fell on the chair. And now he's going to look to put Benjamin away off that elbow, but Shelton gets the shoulder up. A two count there. You see the damage starting to add up. And wait a minute, once again here, all right, this is starting to get a little out of hand. Cedric Alexander, for the third time in this matchup, playing dividends to his tag team partner. And the referee's got to do something here as Benjamin Exploder suplex into the corner. And that is really going to do some damage on Benjamin's opponent here tonight, Damian Priest. Benjamin grabbing a hold, trying to keep the momentum going. And we talk about Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic having a World Tag Team Championship match coming up on Monday Night Raw. And a win here tonight can put the Hurt Business in line. Pay dirt here, but Damian Priest gets the shoulder up. Benjamin throwing one of his best tricks. At Damian Priest right there. Priest getting the shoulder off the canvas. But Damian Priest has got to be feeling the sense of urgency. He smells blood in the water. Big time tackle to Shelton Benjamin. And Damian Priest has got to be looking to put Shelton Benjamin away. Now more than ever. And hit the lights and Benjamin staring up at the top of the arena here tonight in Portland, Oregon. But the referee distracted because that damn Cedric Alexander at ringside. And now, referee finally realizing the cover's going on, and Benjamin gets the shoulder up. 
You gotta think that would have been it for this contest had Cedric Alexander once again not stuck his nose in the business of this matchup. And Benjamin off that splash could have just taken Damian Priest's lights out in exchange, but Damian Priest gets the shoulder up. And what a matchup we got kicking us off tonight on the live premiere return special of Saturday Night's Main Event. Damian Priest, Sean Benjamin's dazed here. Benjamin with a nice knee. We're at a standstill. Oh, wait a minute. Damian Priest was going for a clothesline. Shelton Benjamin there with Pater number two in this contest. And Shelton Benjamin steals the win. And I'd take nothing away from the talents of the gold standard, but you got to think this match would have been over on a few occasions had Cedric Alexander not stuck his nose in the contest. Well, regardless of the result of this contest, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic move on to Monday Night Raw to challenge for the tag team titles. But with this win here tonight, could the Hurt Business be in line for a future World Tag Team Championship opportunity as well? Well, the action continues on here in Portland, Oregon tonight. Saturday night's main event with a women's division contest. And in action for the first time in a little bit, the queen of brutality, Rhea Ripley, set for a one-on-one -on -one action just 24 hours before we have a triple threat match for the WWE Women's Championship of the World at Extreme Rules. So tomorrow night at Extreme Rules, it will be the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, defending the WWE Women's Championship against Bianca Belair and Shotzi in a triple threat matchup. And it's worth noting here, because the last time we saw Rhea Ripley in action was a couple of months back, where she took on Bianca Belair for the WWE Women's Championship, not once, but twice. Back-to-back -back opportunities for Miss Brutality here. Unfortunately, coming up short on both of those occasions. Now, of course, she blames the first loss. And a little bit of an interference from then, Mrs. Money in the Bank, Asuka. But there was no excuses a couple of months ago when the two women met in the main event of Monday Night Raw in a no-holds-barred collision. Rhea Ripley threw everything at Bianca Belair on that night. Bianca, of course, retained the championship, went on to defend the title against Shotzi at SummerSlam, where Shotzi picked up the big win, and then, of course, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, cashed in Money in the Bank to become the new WWE Women's Champion. But Rhea Ripley's opponent here tonight, a woman making her debut from NXT, and this is going to be a real exciting contest here tonight on Saturday night's main event. And from Tokyo, Japan, the Warrior of the Sun, Saray. So making her debut from NXT, as we mentioned, the Warrior of the Sun, Saray. Set for a one-on-one -on -one action here tonight against Rhea Ripley. And a big opportunity for Saray as she makes her main roster debut officially coming up from NXT on this big-time live premiere of Saturday Night's main event. An historic event that is taking place here tonight, and Saray has got a big-time opportunity under these lights here in Portland. A big win over Rhea Ripley. I'm sure it'd send Rhea Ripley off the deep end, but would certainly send Saray into superstardom in the women's division. But as for both these men, it's a bit of a, excuse me, both of these women, it's a bit of a ground zero scenario. Nowhere to go but up for Rhea Ripley, nowhere to go but up for the debuting Saray, as these two women go one on one as we roll on with Saturday night's main event. And I'm sure, even though the women's championship matchup is tomorrow night, and I'm sure all three women that will be competing in that matchup 
are focused on that contest. You know, they're always watching to scout the town in the women's division. And I'm sure they have their eyes on Rhea Ripley in action here tonight, as well as the de debuting Sarai. Now, Rhea Ripley using her strength to her advantage here and slamming Sarai down to the canvas below. And that's going to be the excuse me, the advantage for Rhea Ripley in this contest. Definitely her strength. As for Sarai, it will be the speed. A big time opportunity, no matter what, here tonight for the Warrior of the Sun. And she's looking to take the fight to Rhea Ripley here. And I'll go for an arm bar there. Take out the arms. Rhea Ripley not going to be able to fully utilize the strength in her arsenal there. Of course, as we mentioned, tomorrow night, triple threat matchup for the Women's Championship. Asuka, Shotzi, Bianca Blair. So much riding on that contest between all three women. All three women gunning, gunning for the same end goal to be the face of the women's division here in WWE as its champion. Meanwhile, Sarai headed to the top rope and a big time splash to Rhea Ripley. And into the cover, Rhea gets the shoulder up. Not just yet for the debuting Warrior of the Sun. Looking to keep the momentum going. Whips her off, nice drop kick there. And Sarai, a lot of high offense and fast pace offense in her in her arsenal. It's going to be exciting to see in her journey here on the main roster. And she goes one-on-one -on -one with opponents like Bianca Blair, with opponents like Asuka. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley not interested in those affairs, wiping out Saray in this contest. Now, I hate to say it, but that might be all already. Rhea Ripley picks up the win. An impressive showing for the debuting warrior, the Sun Saray. But Rhea Ripley came out with a vengeance here tonight. And she absolutely destroyed her opponent here this evening. Great opportunity and showcase for that women, but Rhea Ripley back in action and certainly making a statement with I'm sure the rest of the women's division looking on. Wait a minute, wait a minute here. Rhea Ripley, come on, Rhea Ripley attacking Saray at ringside. And the damn match is over, but Rhea Ripley isn't satisfied with the victory tonight. She's looking to make a statement in her first win back. And Saray shifting those steel steps with her shoulder. Rhea Ripley's back in action, and she certainly made a statement here on Saturday night's main event. Well, the Warrior of the Sun, Saray, not the only debut we're going to see here tonight as we are set to see a handful right now. But Apollo Crews is in action here tonight on Saturday night's main event. But he isn't coming alone. Apollo Crews has enlisted some backup. A heavy, if you will. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Commander Aziz from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds. Apollo Crews! Well, the ring announcer beat me to the punch, but there he is behind Apollo Crews. His name is Commander Aziz. And Apollo Crews, after suffering lots of recent losses, most notably to Dolph Ziggler the last time we saw Apollo Crews, Crews took to NXT to try to find some backup. And he found this giant to watch his back. His name is Commander Aziz. And he will be in the corner of Apollo Crews here tonight. As evidently we hear Apollo Crews is set for a one-on-one -on -one contest against another debuting superstar. As the main roster continues to expand. And we continue to get new exciting athletes here in the WWE. On an already historic night. In this live premiere of Saturday Night's Main Event. Apollo Crews set to go one-on-one -on -one with... The debuting Rick Boogs from NXT. This rock and roller, heavy hitter, power lifter. This big man, exciting man, is set to make his debut here tonight. But he's got a challenge ahead of him in the former Intercontinental and United States Champion, Apollo Crews. And his opponent from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at 234 pounds. Rick Boogs. 
Well, as we get set for this next contest so far tonight, we want to thank you for joining us on Saturday night's main event, and be sure to tune in tomorrow night, August the 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the live premiere of our next Universe Mode pay-per-view. It's WWE Extreme Rules, live from Seattle. And still to come, John Cena takes on Edge one-on-one -on -one here tonight. Both those men looking to build momentum to Extreme Rules, and we're going to run down the entire Extreme Rules card immediately following this matchup right here. But man, what a night it's been on Saturday Night's Main Event already. Rick Boogs making his debut. Commander Aziz making his debut as well in the corner of Apollo Crews here tonight. But it's Apollo set to go one-on-one -on -one with this man, this rock and roller. Certainly built superstar Rick Boogs. This is going to be a good one here from Portland, Oregon. As we are set for action, Saturday night's main event rolls on. Two strong men, two big-time athletes, two very exciting athletes. It's a great matchup here. It's certainly a test for Rick Boogs in his debut. But Apollo Crews, again, listed the help of Commander Aziz. Due to all the recent losses that Apollo Crews has seen over the last couple of months. Again, most notably to Dolph Ziggler. Just recently here in the WWE. So, Apollo Crews took a trip down to the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. He was looking to find himself some backup. From over here, Commander Aziz stepped up. And wanted to be a part of Apollo Crews' new regime. Apollo Crews liked what he saw in the big man. And so we have it as this new pairing of Aziz and Apollo. And as for tonight, Commander Aziz, not in action. I'm sure we'll see him in action in coming weeks, but his only job here tonight is to make sure Apollo Crews walks out with victory. And right now, Rick Boogs is the one in control of this one-on-one -on -one contest here in Portland. Boogs whipping Apollo Crews off. And we know Apollo Crews has what it takes to get it done inside of the ring. He's a former Intercontinental Champion, he's a former United States Champion, but as they say in this business, it's about what have you done for me lately, and unfortunately Apollo Crews has seen nothing but the L column week after week in his recent career. So Apollo Crews looking to change that here tonight. Newfound confidence, newfound backup. And certainly an opponent that I'm sure he wasn't expecting, but expect the unexpected here in the WWE. Apollo Crews knows that at heart. He's got to figure out Rick Boogs right here as he's got Boogs down the canvas. Apollo Crews taking it to the air with the splash. And Apollo, such an all-around athlete. So strong. He's got the strength inside of the ring. He also has the agility. One of the several versatile athletes that we have here in the WWE is Apollo Crews. That's why we say he knows how to get it done, but he's got to keep his eye on the ball and can't go high risk. High reward every time, because Rick Boogs throwing him off his game there. And for Rick Boogs, again, this is his debut from NXT here tonight. Not looking to come up short. As look at that! Big time belly to belly from the big man. Boogs showcasing his strength. And Boogs look, not looking to come out of this the same way Saray just did a few moments ago in her main roster debut with a loss. It's a very interesting matchup here tonight. Between Cruz and Boogs. Apollo's worse for air right now. He may be in trouble. Rick Boogs shooting him off, sending him over the top rope, and Boogs has got to be feeling it right now. Commander Aziz is staring a hole for Rick Boogs at ringside. Boogs has got to keep his eye on that man. That man is in the corner of Apollo Cruz to ensure he gets the victory here, and he's staying fair so far, but hell if our opening contest with Cedric Alexander taught us anything is to keep your eye on anybody surrounding that ring. Apollo back in the ring, but Rick Boogs looking to keep the offense going. And Boogs heading to the top rope, cruises down. The big man looking to go high risk here. Cruises on spaghetti legs, going for the shoulder block, but I think Apollo Cruz got out of the way just in time. And Boogs may have thrown his chances out the door, press slam, Cruz gonna follow it up, standing moonsault. Look at the skill for this Nigerian nightmare here tonight. And Apollo Cruz at the Olympic slam, and that may be a knockout blow. And that's gonna do it. Apollo Cruz catching Rick Booz off his game. And Apollo 
with the eye of Commander Aziz in his corner, finds a way to get the victory here tonight. An impressive but a disappointing debut for Rick Boogs here tonight, coming up in the loss column. Oh, come on now. Did Apollo, was Apollo Crews watching Rio Ripley a few moments ago? Apollo Crews looking to make a name off of Rick Boog's behalf here tonight. The win followed by the beatdown. Cruz is back in the win column, but Rick Boog's definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with. Coming up tomorrow night, Sunday, August the 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, Extreme Rules. And ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news regarding the WWE Cruiserweight Championship ladder match that was supposed to take place tomorrow night between Santos Escobar, Ricochet, and The Swerve. Unfortunately, Isaiah Swerve Scott suffering a concussion during his matchup with Joaquin Wilde on main event and not cleared to compete. He will get a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity in the near future, but unfortunately, things have changed to a ladder match. It's a SummerSlam rematch now between Santos Escobar and Ricochet, one-on-one -on -one for the Cruiserweight Champion tomorrow night another SummerSlam rematch is on hand this time tables will be in play for the WWE World Tag Team Championships Dominic and Rey Mysterio defend the gold against the former champions Eric and Ivar the Viking Raiders it is the return of the whole damn show Rob Van Dam is back in the WWE and he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who challenged him to a contest the Messiah Seth freaking Rollins the Intercontinental Championship promises a wrestling classic at Extreme Rules when the Prince Finn Balor takes on the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne will Pete Dunne successfully regain the championship two times in a row or will Finn Balor become the new Intercontinental Champion these two brawling brutes will hold nothing back when it's no holds barred. The Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre goes one-on-one -on -one with his old friend, the Celtic warrior Sheamus. It's the triple threat matchup for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, defends the gold against the former champion Bianca Blair, as well as another former champion, and the woman she defeated for the gold at SummerSlam, Shotzi. RK Bro has imploded before our very eyes. And tomorrow night, Riddle gets one night, one chance, one opportunity at the Apex Predator Randy Orton. Riddle, Randy Orton, gonna come to blows in Falls Count Anywhere. And it's the five-man elimination challenge for the WWE Championship. The Rated R Superstar Edge defends the gold against Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, John Cena, and AJ Styles. Something's gotta give. Who is gonna be the last man standing for the WWE Championship tomorrow night in Seattle? But tonight is Saturday night's main event, and it is time for your main event contest. The franchise the Rated R Superstar, an old rivalry renewed here tonight under the bright lights here in Portland. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds. Ever since John Cena returned to the WWE at SummerSlam, he had been nothing short of successful. A victory over Austin Theory, a victory over Omos, a tag team victory alongside Edge against Austin Theory and Omos. But that of course came to a screeching halt this past Monday Night on Raw when John Cena took the loss in a big time victory for Mustafa Ali this past week on Raw. So Cena looking to rebuild some momentum that he lost on Raw this past week with Extreme Rules coming up tomorrow night. But it ain't gonna be no easy task. But he knows that as this is the man that John Cena has fought on many occasions throughout his historic career here in the WWE. The franchise in the ring and set to compete against this man, the Rated R Superstar and the WWE Champion of the World. Edge is in the house. And Edge is looking to keep his momentum going. He has yet to suffer a loss since he returned prior to Money in the Bank. And with Extreme Rules coming up in 24 hours, the WWE Champion does not want to see defeat. This is going to be a good one here at our main event on Saturday night. And his opponent from 
Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge! I am pumped up for this main event. John Cena and Edge. You think about all the historic battles these two men have had throughout their careers, including a contest back in 2006 right here on main event, or excuse me, right here on Saturday night's main event for the WWE Championship. The title is not on the line here tonight. Cena will get his opportunity along with three other superstars in 24 hours, but the bell has sounded and we are underway with this epic main event contest. John Cena versus Edge. This is going to be a good one here in this main event. Both men looking to build momentum. Looking to roll into Seattle tomorrow night on a hot streak. And Edge, as we mentioned, he has yet to be defeated ever since he made his return after a short hiatus. That was prior to Money in the Bank. Edge defeated Drew McIntyre in the Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Won the Money in the Bank contract, of course, back in Philadelphia. And successfully cashed in that briefcase. I guess the phenomenal AJ Styles at SummerSlam. It was a match of the year candidate between those two men. Edge, as we mentioned, has also been victorious in recent history. He owns a victory over Damian Priest on Monday Night Raw a month and some change ago. And the last time we saw him in action was that tag team matchup with him and John Cena defeating Austin Theory and Omos on the Raw after SummerSlam. And as we mentioned for John Cena, up until this past week on Raw, he had been nothing short of successful. The tag team victory that we talked about, a singles win over Austin Theory at SummerSlam. A win over Omos on Thursday night's main event. But John Cena just lost in the chaos of Raw this past week. And that matchup against Mustafa Ali. Of course, as Cena was making his way to the ring, Austin Theory, a man who has been in the thorn in the side of John Cena over the last month, attacking Cena prior to the bell. Cena got rid of Theory, sent him packing to the back, then had to refocus against Mustafa Ali. But if you remember this past Monday night on Raw, it was, it was chaos at ringside. And during the matchup between John Cena and Mustafa Ali, his cameras were cut into the crowd as Edge and AJ Styles evidently broke into a brawl in the backstage area, which bled out into the crowd. Edge put AJ Styles through a table out in the audience. AJ laid out Edge on the concrete by the stage. It was all out chaos, closing Monday Night Raw this past week. All five men in the WWE Championship match. Tensions are certainly high. Coming up for that five-man elimination challenge tomorrow night. And of course it will be. Last man standing leaves with the WWE Championship of the world. And elimination is only going to occur by pinfall or submission. No disqualifications in that contest. And Edge is down. Cena coming for the top rope there. A little bit of a five-knuckle shuffle variation for the franchise. And these two men know each other so well. They have faced off so many times throughout their career, as we mentioned. This is their second time facing off in the history of Saturday night's main event. But that's just one of so many matches between these two men. Think back to the first time Edge cashed in the Money in the Bank contract back in January of 2006. Who did he defeat on that night? John Cena to become the WWE Champion. Cena, of course, taking the title back a couple of weeks later at the Royal Rumble. Defeating Edge on that night. Wasn't the last time in 2006 that those two men crossed paths. We're back at SummerSlam in John Cena's hometown of Boston in 2006, where Edge defeated John Cena on that night to retain the WWE Championship. Of course, a month later, John Cena defeated Edge in Edge's hometown of Toronto to become the new WWE Champion. Wait a minute here, Cena, look at that power bomb to Edge over the top rope, sending him to the outside. We're sitting here talking about the history. Clearly, we need to talk about the now, because Cena is taking the fight to the Reddit R Superstar. And man, these two men do not want to risk injury with Extreme Rules coming up tomorrow. But Cena is not looking to take another loss here tonight. Talk about bringing the fight to the Rated R Superstar. They're sending him flying out of the ring, over the top rope, down to the floor below here in Portland. Now Edge, sense of urgency there, doesn't want to keep the fight on the outside. Nice shot to John Cena to get the momentum back momentarily. Catch a breath for the Rated R Superstar. 
Cena back in the ring and Edge coming at John. And again, talking about the history between these two men. Really the rivalry of the year almost in the year of 2006. Think about all the other times these two men for the World Heavyweight Championship. These two men fought in 2009 at Backlash in a last man standing match where Edge was victorious on that night. They've really traded a lot of wins throughout their careers between Edge and John Cena. So many matches on Monday Night Raw all over the years as well. So much writing, so much history. And I think at this point in these men's careers, there's absolutely a mutual respect between John Cena and Edge. With certainly respect not outweighing the competition between these two men, especially when the WWE Championship will be on the line tomorrow night. And it may not be on the line right here, right now, but with the road to Seattle coming to a screeching halt in just 24 hours, it's all about building that last minute momentum. John Cena dazed here, the rated R superstar, scouting his opponent. It's chopped there by Edge. What a night it has been here on Saturday night's main event, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us thus far in this live premiere special on the road to Extreme Rules. Seeing Shelton Benjamin pick up the win over Damian Priest here tonight. Rhea Ripley defeating the debuting Sarai. And of course, moments ago, Apollo Crews with the debuting Commander Aziz pick up the win over the debuting Rick Boogs. A lot of fresh faces on the card here tonight, but certainly no mistake with these two legends here in our main event. Edge already a Hall of Famer. Coming back out of retirement a few years ago, one of his goals was to become the WWE Champion yet again. He accomplished that dream. And he defeated the phenomenal AJ Styles at SummerSlam. Meanwhile, John Cena, I think, is going for the AA here, but Edge cutting him off just at the last second. And that could have spelled the end for the WWE Champion. Had John Cena laid him out with that attitude adjustment, you saw Cena smelled some blood in the water. The radar superstar. It just goes back to how well these two men knew each other. Had that move scouted, knew exactly what to do to counter it. Meanwhile, Cena's down. Edge could be looking for the spear here. Edge going for the spear. Oh, Cena with the counter. And John Cena countered Edge's big time move into the DDT. Cena into the cover on the radar superstar, but Edge gets the shoulder up. And you feel the momentum of this matchup. The atmosphere is shifting to a new level. Edge had the AA scouted. Cena had the spear scouted. And now we're back out here with the brawl. And Cena sending Edge over the top rope again. And that's a back-to-back -back fall in this contest. Edge eating the floor here. And Cena using his strength to his advantage. The brawl getting taken to the outside. And the rated R superstar is certainly in trouble as the franchise is in control of your main event here tonight. John Cena working over the WWE Champion. As we mentioned, these two know each other so well, had each other's big time exclamation point finishing maneuver scouted. You gotta think if these men have anything up their sleeves, something to throw their opponents off guard here tonight. And Cena's tactic may just be the brawling on the outside, so we've seen him do it a few times. Edge taking down John Cena here. Look at this, sending Cena right into the announce table. And Edge knows how to brawl himself. Now wait a minute, Cena here. Cena has got something in mind. Cena's cleared off the announce table. He's got to watch his back though because the WWE Champion's coming from behind and a neck breaker out on the floor. And Edge breaking the count. Or Edge is heading back out to the outside now. And Edge with a shot to John Cena. And Cena's dates. Edge taking advantage of that exposed announce table and throwing Cena's gut right into it. John Cena's got to be careful he's not put through the table that he revealed there. But Ed's throwing him back into the ring. Now Radar Superstar's got something on his mind in this contest. Go for a super kick it looked like there. Cena dodged it and there he hits it. First time doesn't work, second time's a charm. And I'm going to follow it up with a couple of stiff headbutts by the Radar Superstar. And these two men tearing down the house here tonight in Portland. What a main event this has been. Edge now sending John Cena to the corner. The WWE Champion's feeling it here. He's got something in mind. 
As John Cena's down. Wait a minute. Edge could be looking. Big time swinging neck breaker from the middle rope down to the canvas below. And Cena's got a history of neck problems. That could be what leads to the victory here, but Cena gets the shoulder up. Yeah, that was a big time maneuver. Swinging neck breaker from that rope. That's a big time fall for Cena. Wait a minute, Cena dodges Edge's clothesline and the franchise pulling out some of those five moves of doom for Edge here tonight. Edge is down. Cena's going into the cover. Looks like he thinks he's got this match where he wants, but the WWE Champion gets the shoulder up. Now Cena's feeling it here, man. You smell it. Now look at this, Cena with Edge. Power bomb down to the canvas. Edge taking another huge fall in this contest as John Cena's heading somewhere where we don't see him too often. Leg drop from the top rope by the franchise. Now Cena's feeling good, but Edge, look at that. Sense of urgency there. Harry's up that super kick now. Harry into the top rope. Goes the champion. Edge coming. Big time Macho Man elbow drop from the top rope. Right to the heart of the C Nation, but John Cena gets the shoulder up. Yeah, this is a main event. Talk about a Saturday night's main event, a historic event in WWE history. Returning here tonight. You can't think of two better men to throw in the showcase contest than the WWE Champion and the franchise of the company. And Cena's looking worse for wear right now. Edge dropping that knee right on the back of the franchise. And the WWE Champion scaling the ropes and drops another inverted elbow drop. And you gotta wonder what condition these two men are gonna be in come Extreme Rules just 24 hours from now. Guys are leaving it all on the table here tonight. No one wants to risk injury, but no one wants to risk defeat as Cena lays down Edge once more. And Edge is in trouble. Wait a minute, Cena's got something in mind. John Cena looking for the STFU. Edge has tapped out to this maneuver in the past. Will he do so again? He's dead center of the ring, and Cena's got that stranglehold in on the WWE Champion. And Edge breaking it with the elbow. Another one there, taking Cena off his back. And Cena may be knocked a little loose there. Edge sending him over the top rope. And what a matchup we are seeing out of John Cena and Edge right now. Edge barely surviving that STF there. The fight spills back out to the outside here in Portland. And AJ Styles, Austin Theory, and Mustafa Ali got to love what they're seeing right now. Just watching these two men pick each other apart just 24 hours before the WWE Championship will be on the line. Cena eating the barricade. Wait a minute, Edge, look at this. Back drop right on the top of the barricade. And that is steel with very thin padding. Cena eating it right to the back. And Edge could just be looking for the count out victory here. These guys are in deep waters in this contest at this point. I think any means necessary to get the victory. Cena getting back in. Edge trying to stay on the offense though. John Cena may be in trouble, man. This has been all Edge the last number of minutes. As Cena goes face first and the rated R superstar is back in the corner. Edge is looking for the spear and he hits it flush. The WWE Champion with the spear. Oh, but John Cena kicks out at the very last second. The heart of the C Nation staying alive here on Saturday night's main event. I don't think Edge can believe it. And Cena's down dead center of the ring. Edge is heading to the top rope. Oh man, this is not good for neither of these men. The deeper this goes in this contest, and did you see the counter from John Cena? Edge was going for a clothesline, maybe even a crossbody. Cena catching him in that power slam there. And Cena, emergency cover from the franchise. And the WWE Champion scraping his shoulder barely off the canvas. Now Cena, trying to stay alive here. He's got Edge where he wants him, at least momentarily. He survived the spear, he countered the offense. But now it's time for John Cena to showcase his talents. 
The WWE Champion's down. Remember, we talked about Edge hasn't taken a loss in a number of months. And he certainly doesn't want to do so on the eve of a WWE Championship defense. Oh, Edge, nice shot there. I'll see the counter. Wait a minute, Cena reversed. Attitude adjustment out of nowhere. Cena into the cover. John Cena has picked up the victory here tonight. My God, these men tearing the roof off the joint here at Saturday Night's main event. John Cena handing the WWE Champion his first loss in months and momentum back on the side of the franchise. And respect being shown where it's due. Shaking the hands between these two men after they tore down the house tonight. But they will be opponents just 24 hours from now. Cena, Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, AJ Styles, and Edge. Five-man elimination challenge for the WWE Championship. Sunday night, tomorrow night, August the 7th. 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a live premiere for WWE Extreme Rules. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in Seattle. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.